on the floor for the visiting Atlanta Hawks. At power forward, Sadiq Bey. At the other forward position, DeAndre Hunger. At center, Clint Capella. At shooting guard, DeJounte Murray. At the other guard position, Trey Young. The head coach of the visiting team is Quinn Snyder. They're in the upper part of the conference records right now. Win fifth place. And check it out early. They're tied right now. And right now for the Hawks, they've done a good job staying relevant this season. I mean, I was concerned they'd suffer a drop off, but give them credit. They've hung in here in this playoff race. The resiliency has been crucial for this team. Anytime it looks like they may start to drag a little bit, they've picked it back up and stayed in the hunt. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. In at small and power forward, it's Hunter and Bay. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. And it's Capella in at the five spot. And for Orlando, Bancaro and Carter make up the inside pair. Outside, the wings are Suggs and Wagner. And it's Fultz in a point. And so it's the Hawks getting on the board first. Fultz, no good. Young outside. In the corner, Murray with it. And Carroll grabs the board. Here's Suggs. Fultz with the ball. And Young picks him up defensively. And it's Suggs missing. Here we are, Greg, watching Atlanta. This team has a lot of firepower. And some great scores, Kevin. As they just launched three. They like to work for good shots inside the arc as well. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Now, here's Fultz trying to claw his way back after a terrible showing in that loss to Dallas. Here's Ben Kim. Up and in on the way. You see the fearlessness on the interior by Paolo Banquero. This is his comfort zone. Fultz against Young. A shot off that time. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Banquero up top. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Well, this is just From excellent work in the mid-range. And you see how comfortable Paolo is taking those opportunities. We're 
just about two minutes into the first quarter. And here is Bay. It is now to Young. Six to shoot. Back to Bay. A floater. It's deflected. How about that denial by Paolo Boncaro? Nice to see him put that frame to use. Fultz kicks to Wagner. Carter sets the pick for Wagner. Second chance effort, and Capella sends it back. Bay with it. Now guarded by Fultz. Here's Capella, and the tough by Capella. And how about his athleticism for a big man? Capella is able to make plays above the rim. Young against Fultz. Pass to Suggs. Takes the three. Wagner outside. Magic moving the ball around. Fultz kicks to Wagner. Carter with a screen on Hunter. And finished off by Wagner. I tell you, don't be surprised if Ron Wagner gets up above the rim and finishes. This guy loves to attack the basket. Pass to Capella. Young outside. Back to Capella. And still so much, Greg, to learn about these teams. When do we get a sense of a team's true identity? Well, not this early in the season. Now, I'd say at least a quarter of the way through it. That's when you kind of get a sense of a squad's chemistry. And Carter now, top of the key. Bay against Ben Carroll. Carter with a screen on Bay. Van Carroll kicks to Suggs. A miss that time would have put him up. For Atlanta, they've gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Back to Young. From downtown, that one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now 2 for 3. Oh, great look there. Young off a pass would normally knock those down. Now the pass to Suggs. There's Wagner with the three. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. The Rico. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And here's Dan Carroll. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Trailing by two. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Yeah, I mean, hard time shooting the rock in that one. But they also didn't give themselves the best looks. I think even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. It's time to clap your hands and welcome the 3-2-1 Jonathan Isaac is checked in for Bancaro. Gary Harris comes in for Suggs. And Anthony subbed in for Fultz. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. The Kong Wu's checked in for Capella. Johnson comes in for Sadiq Bay. AJ Griffin's checked in for Hunter. And it's Bogdanovich in for Trey Young. Bogdanovich. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Right, here's a look at stats for Carter. He had a strong showing last season. Averaged about 15 points a game, eight rebounds, and two assists. And he does the heavy lifting on the glass, throwing himself into the rebounding battle with just complete effort. Well, you get the feeling he believes every rebound should be his, and most of them are. This guy is putting up tremendous numbers. Both good from the line that time. Well, they're still young, but the Magic, Greg, are becoming one of those lead pass teams. Like, like people want to watch it. Yeah, I mean, they've got some players. Leaving aside any moody interest on my part, they've got some young fellas that are definitely intriguing to watch. Now here is Harris. He points his last outing. Wagner against Griffin. From the high post. 
and it's Wagner missing. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Atlanta again, missing. The Magic trail by four. Carter outside. Harris outside. Carter finds Harris. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Burton Hall is making a change here. That was checked in. Now in the line of the Number 11. Here's Anthony. Plays it up and banks it in. The defense makes Cole Anthony work for it, but boy, he doesn't back down. Young taking his time here. From the arc. Drills the three-pointer. Young. Young's got eight. Three. And most of the time, you expect Young's three ball to fall. That's just how good he is. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Hawks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on this one. And we'll be right back after this. I like how they work the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Harris on the wing. He's paired with Isaac. Bancaro is out there with Mo Wagner. And it's Anthony in at the point guard position. That's the group start the second quarter for the match. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, DeJounte Murray grew up in South Seattle. He said a lot of stuff goes on. It was rough. But NBA veteran and fellow Rainier Beach graduate Jamal Murray tried to help him. Murray says he always stayed positive with me and my family. He'd say that kid has a chance. And every summer we play pickup. I knew I could be okay if I stayed working. Kevin. And he did. D.A., thanks so much for the report. So despite the fact that he's highly skilled, Paulo Boncaro also plays with this relentless energy you love. Since moving to Atlanta in 1968, Greg, the Hawks have never been to the NBA Finals. That is insane, Kevin. I mean, you think back to all the great players they've had from Dominique Wilkins to now Trey Young. Hawks fans are hungry for a trip to the Finals. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Young outside. Back to Okongwu. And Okongwu scores it in. And how about the find by Trey? Making sure he keeps his teammates involved. And Kiro outside. This is it to Isaac. From about 16, rebounded by the Hawks. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. Yeah, proficiency from range, away from home, much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. And I think it was clear that their plan was to attack from the three-point line, and it worked to perfection. Now here is Harris. Paolo Bancaro, unable to get his last shot to go in. Harris with it. And Young picks him up defensively. Shot clock at five. Here's Anthony. Oh, and that's jammed by Anthony. Uh, just keeping things simple on the offensive end. Cole Anthony more than happy to shoot in these kinds of situations. Pass to Young. Okongwu with it. Young right side. For his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Nice job capitalizing down there. Young good at probing inside and finding some space. 
Bancaro with the ball. He's got five, and here's Harris from the arc. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Wagner is green on Johnson. Here's Ben Kill. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Inside. Oh, he jams it right over Cole Anthony. Wow. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And so here's Orlando following the bucket by the Hawks. Ben Carroll with screen on young. Anthony, the pass to Ben Carroll. Tries again. Anthony finds Isaac. Out to the wing. Isaac with a screen for Ben Carroll. Back to Isaac. Orlando needs to get off a shot. Another shot. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Bogdanovich dishes to Young. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. He's pulled down. For draining those two three pointers in the first quarter. Isaac. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to go on Onyeka Okonwu. The Magic have shot two free throws and they're one and two so far. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Carter, he's checked in for Mo Wagner. Wagner comes in for Paolo Bancaro. Subs, he's checked in for Harris. And it's Fultz in for Anthony. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials, but Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? Yeah, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. And here's Fultz, following the three-pointer by Trey Young. The Magic again can't hit. The Hawks leading by 10. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. We've got 155 left in the first half. Young sets a screen for Murray. Back to Young. Capella with a screen on Fultz. Young, no good. The Magic shooting just 29% in this game. They are not a pretty sight out there offensively. Fultz finds Isaac. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. This is encouraging to see Jonathan Isaac finish through contact. He obviously will fill out that frame and add some weight, but the balance really impressive. Now, here is Young. A 17-point game for him in the win against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Fultz with the ball. And Young picks him up defensively. Took him no time at all on that. Now just a five-point Atlanta lead. Well, we know Markel Fultz can get cooking on the offensive end, but his responsibility to get the guys around him involved, nicely done. Atlanta calls timeout. Paolo Vanquero's jumped in for Orlando. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Trey Young. Atlanta leading by five. Murray, the pass to Capella. Back to Murray. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Carter outside. Over in the corner, Van Carroll. Goes up on the wing. He doesn't hit that one. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. And this really is the story of the game. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc, especially in the second quarter. Van Carroll kicks to Fultz. Here's Wagner. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got three assists in the game. 
My goodness, that's a nice looking mid range opportunity for Franz Wagner. Such a good feel for when to rise and fire. Bogdanovich looking around. Bay with the screen for Bogdanovich. Pass to Bay. Puts up a three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Bay's got the lead up to 11 now for the Hawks. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just That's a bit more insane. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. And so it's Atlanta. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David, thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And let's hear it for your arena entertainment. Hey everybody, Shaq, do you know what time it is? Nope. It's time to check out the early season NBA power rank. Taking a look at the Hawks, they take a dip in the power rankings this week. I'm starting to wonder, man, are these guys quite good as we thought they were? Yeah, the season just... Shifting focus now to that first half we just watched. A grueling game so far for the Orlando Magic. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. One more time, fans. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And so in the game for the Hawks. In the pose, it's Bay and Capella. Outside the wings are Murray and Hunter. And it's Young in at the one spot. Quit Capella. First personal foul. The Magic have gone First two of four foul. at the free throw line. At the line for the Magic, Paolo Bancaro. One shot. The Hawks leading by eight. Murray looking around. The pass to Young. Fires for three. Carter pulls it in. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now there was quite a bit of shakeup in the Hawks for an office last season amid rumors of discord. Jante Murray said, there's a lot of noise, but at the end of the day, winning takes care of it all. So we need to control what we can control. Continue to come together as brothers and try to go out and win basketball games. Kevin, back to you. All right, that's all they can do. David, thanks. Murray, good. And just making it hard to stay on it. The, the dribble moves gets Murray the space he needs to operate. Up top, Volts, defended by Young. Volts, the pass to Suggs. The Magic again can hit. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Passes it to Capella. Over Fultz. And Capella, the bucket, on the assist by Murray. And now it's a 12-point Hawks lead, and it's Fultz with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Suggs kicks to Van Curren. The Magic again can't hit. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Hunter, a three. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got rebound number five here tonight. Hunter against Wagner. 
Bancaro inside. Wagner passes to Bancaro. They set the pick. Five to shoot. Back to Wagner. Uses the glass to finish the way. And 12 points for Franz Wagner. Boy, when he catches a rhythm, Franz Wagner is relentless offensively. Young outside. Lob pass to Capella. Not surprised at all. Oh. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. The Magic trail by 12. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And the three off target. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. A kicks to Murray. Shot from the top of the key. In Atlanta again with the bucket. And Murray looking comfortable in this offense, including understanding when to look for his. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. In there. The Hawks lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Wagner. Atlanta's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Time, time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. For viewers, timeout's a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Shot and Isaac is checked in for Van Carroll. And a change for the Hawks. Bogdanovich is checked in. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Capella finds Young. Now here's Murray. Not a lot of room. Shot clock at six. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Fultz against Young. And there's the drive. And finished off by Fultz. Well, this has to contribute to Markel Fultz's confidence. Showing right there he can get through the defense. Two minutes remaining in the third. Fultz against Young. Outside for Murray. Young outside. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Kongwu checked in for Capella. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Atlanta. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from D. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. Fultz against Young. Fultz kicks to Wagner. Over Bogdanovich. Okongwu grabs the board. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. What's that? Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning Man, the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the Lies moment and play and the right up. way. For the Hawks, Johnson comes in for Hunter. And Griffin subbed in for Trey Young. Fultz looking around. Oh, you love that Mark Paul Fultz has the ability to draw the defense's hand and get himself to the foul line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. Two shots. And he's good on the second. 107 left to play in the third. The Hawks leading by 14. 
Now Murray. Six points for him. Now here's Bogdanovich. This one for three. It's hauled in by the Magic. Carter's got rebound number eight now on the night. Suggs passes to Wagner. Suggs in the corner. Pass to Fultz. Lock at six. Isaac outside. Another miss by Orlando. Boy, defense nowhere to be found, and neither was his shot at that time. Six seconds separate in the shot and game clocks. And it's sent back by Carter. Well, this is about the seven foot five wingspan and the defensive instincts of Wendell Carter Jr. Send it back, young sir. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Pat Donovich wide open. And it's Brock Donovich again missing. Here's Fultz. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And how about a look now at our assist to the game. Brought to you by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court dish. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Harris on the wing. He's paired with Isaac. Wagner is out there with Van Carroll. And it's Anthony in at the point guard is out there for Orlando. Out to Harris from outside the arc. Buries the long-range jumper. Three. Such a skilled shooter from distance is Gary Harris. You better get that guy off the line. Young pass to Johnson. Back to Young. Teardrop shot. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Harris dishes to Van Carroll. Over Johnson. Van Carroll passes to Anthony. Shoots. Nails the baby hook. Anthony. Anthony is unafraid to take on anybody willing to finish through contact yes sir Johnson outside oh Griffin in position and stolen by Wagner and now the pass break Bank Carroll with the ball and they pick up two and that's now 10 points for Paulo Banquero how about the finish through contact by Paulo Banquero very tough to guard this guy because of that big time frame Bogdanovich passes to O'Connor. Here's what the Atlanta Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Saturday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And then on Tuesday, they'll head out on the road to face the Pistons in Detroit. And that one falls for O'Connor. The Magic making a switch here. Carter's checked in. Hunter's checked in for the Hawks. That one misses. The Magic trail by 12. And Kiro outside. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Out to Harris. And Kiro inside. Covered by Okongwu. Five on the clock. Makes it out to Van Kiro. Off the mark. Had a chance to trim it to single digits. It's Young on the wing. The three. The Hawks again can't hit. He started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. Van Kuro against Young. Doubled by Okongwu. Here's Isaac. 
Drills it from outside. Right now playing with a terrific rhythm. Jonathan Isaac, a solid guy who can burn you with the catch and shoot. Pass to Okongwu. Okongwu with the screen on him. Here's Young. And the wide open shot from Griffin. It's good from long range. Griffin's got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. No one near Van Carroll as he lets it go. Another miss by Van Carroll. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And it's good, yeah, two points. But with a number of moves and shots to choose from Hunter, it's scary. Nice bucket there. Time call here the Magic decide to talk it over. It's time for Teaser. So for the Magic, Wagner's checked in for Jonathan Isaac. Jalen Suggs comes in for Gary Harris. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Anthony. Then for the Hawks, Clint Cabela, he's checked in for Okongwu. Bay comes in for Griffin, and it's Ashante Murray in for Bogdanovich. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. During that last break, I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley said to his team. Told his guys, focus up right now. Everybody needs to be on the same page out there. Let's go out there and take this game right now. Big words, guys. Thanks so much, David. And guys, getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Carter with a screen on Bay. Bancaro kicks to Wagner. All alone. Number 12 goes in. He's made seven and 12 now. But you go back to the fundamentals. Franz Wagner calls for the screen and gets himself some space. Young dishes to Hunter. The basket good. Off the assist from Young. And the Hawks lead by 14. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Here's Fultz. Drops in the layup for two. You get an understanding of the high IQ that Paolo Boncaro brings to the table. This guy's so good at finding open teammates. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. They got very fortunate there, guys. They should just take their time on offense and not try to force things. And so it's Capella who brings up the ball for Atlanta. At one point, they led by 16. Young pass to Bay. In the corner, it's Hunter. 135 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Young. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. And this game belongs to Young right now, and he is simply making everything. And here's Bancaro. Wagner outside. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got six rebounds now in the game. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Hawks. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the other team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Young. It was the guy the game for him that all scores the dream of where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. The Kongwoos checked in for Clint Capella. Johnson comes in for Sadiq Bey. A.J. Griffin's checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Murray. The pass to Ingles. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump fake. 
and they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they gotta be happy with the outcome. Young with the ball. So it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. A uh, solid win on the road for them. This building was dead we silent by the time GA. This one wound up. And that's, that's what you want second. to do. Take the crowd out of them by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Kevin, thanks. Trey, leadership is such a key part of that point guard position, so what do you focus on with that? I'm a big guy and good in team chemistry, so any, any chance I can, go bowling, hang out with these guys, build chemistry, and uh, I think that's where it starts off the court. So that translates on. Yeah, you guys look like a tight-knit group right now, man. Congrats on the win. Kevin? David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Trey Young.